maths Nathan. that goes along with it. Nathan, question. You ready? How do you convert metres into kilometres? I don't know. How What's do you convert metres into kilometres? What's the correct way? You tell me. The correct way is divide metres by a thousand. You didn't do that. So if you have a metre and I divide that metre by 1,000, you don't think that would give you millimetres? Metres into kilometres, Nathan. You just said you divide metres by 1,000 to get kilometres. So you're saying I divide something that is one metre long by 1,000 and that will come out to a kilometre value. Nathan, it sounds like, it sounds track, like you are quite track. literally retarded let's with that statement. You do not divide Red. metres okay. to come out with kilometres. What? <laughs> Why did Chris Monk multiply metres by 10,000 when he should have divided them by 1,000? Sorry, did that you just do it again? Did you just say that you divide a number that is in metres to come up with a value in kilometres? Is that what you are now asserting That's for a second correct. time? Why? <laughs> Why did Chris Monk multiply metres by 10,000 when he should have divided by 1,000? Why would you divide a value that is given in metres to come up with something larger, i.e. kilo, meaning because thousand? Nathan, because... <laughs> the thing you don't understand is that it's a ratio. Did you do maths at school? Yeah, I'll ask you a third time. Why would you divide a metre value when trying to come up with a larger value? Dividing something makes it smaller. Oh dear. There's no oh dear? Sorry, what do you mean oh dear? That's not an answer. Why would you divide something to make it bigger? I've already explained. You, are you not no, you listening? haven't. Oh, I'm still. I'm yet to get an answer. We have a value in meters. You're saying I divide that value to make it larger into kilometers, a larger number. It depends on the value, Nate. If it's less than if it's less than one, if you divide a number that would be less than one, like zero point six, that will give you an increase. Oh, why did you give him the answer? I was hoping that Alan would eventually get there or not get there, as the case may be. Uh, I'm already there. I'm just, I'm never just why didn't you say it then, Alan? Dig a rather large hole. Perhaps you could no, dig a large hole, divide that no. by 1,000 and then jump in. Right, the question that you're asking, Alan, is aimed at Chris. The people that go on the flat earth debates, the majority of them, unfortunately, they really don't know what they're talking about. How's the humble pie, Nathan? Yeah, it's good. Oh, it's a great day to be a flat earther.